What's up, YouTube? It's Nami, and I'm here to finally share my experience that I had in Dominican Republic when I went in December 2020 to get my body done. And I'm an open book. I'm a very honest person, so I'm not gonna hide nothing. And I'm gonna tell you everything. And I have a story, an interesting story, so you are gonna wanna hear this. Um, so in this video, I'm only gonna talk about, I'm only gonna talk about what doctor I chose. And the next video is I'm gonna really get into details about what happens and stuff like that. But just for this video, I'm only going to tell you how I chose my doctor. Um, so I've always wanted, I always knew I wanted to get surgery when I was in high school. I've always, I always knew it. I'm 21 years old now. And um, I, after looking, I really had Duran. A lot, if you know, you know who Duran is. Duran is from Dominican Republic. She is great. I feel like she's really good. Um, I had my deposit with her, right? The deposit was five hundred dollars. I had my deposit with her, but I remember. It was right around like my surgery was when like coronavirus was happening. So I wanted to know if it was like so safe for me to go over there, if she was even still doing surgeries around that time. So I respectfully um hit up one of Duran's assistants on Instagram DM and I asked her like, hey honey, um I have my surgery coming up in August. Um of it was August 2020. Um, I want to know, like, are you guys still doing surgery? Um, like, is it too safe for me to go out there? Like, you know? And she didn't write back, but she had posted a story. So I just sent her a question mark. And she wanted to hit me up, like, um, me, you, we not best friends. And I put this on everything I love. She hit me up just like this. It's, it's random, though. She was like, me, you, we not best friends for me to be answering all your questions, talking to you, like, if we're, we're friends, like, this is my job. I'm like, okay, like, I understand it's your job. Nobody's saying that we're best friends. I'm a patient. That's Confirm that would like to know if so if it's still safe for me to go to VR right now. Like, like, bro, she had a type, but I did not disrespect her or nothing. So, um, she was like, Oh, I don't like your tone of voice. I'm like, Since when does messaging have a, a tone of voice? Like, which, what do you mean you don't like my tone of voice? I simply just said, It is your job to basically answer my question. Like, is it still safe for me to go to VR? And she had blocked me. I'm like, oh hell no. She blocked me for me wanting to know if it's so good for me to go to DR. So um I remember like before this on the app I read about Duran that one of her one of one of her patients had died like years this was years ago. Because Duran doesn't really have a lot of deaths. But you know, every doctor, most doctors have a couple deaths or whatever. But Duran, whatever, this was years ago. Um, some girl she got surgery with Duran and um she had complications after and Duran cleared her to go home though but when she was home the complications had came and Duran was impossible to get in contact with so um she was impossible to get in contact with so she, like the doctor in her state didn't want to touch her because she was done in dr but duran wasn't like she didn't even she couldn't even get in contact with duran so she ended up dying anyways um due to her complication so i'm like yeah like i'm not gonna go the same thing like i'm not gonna risk it like if it's impossible for me to get an answer a question asked that i have like imagine if i have any concerns after surgery like it's not worth the risk so I was like, fuck it on. I lost my deposit with her. I didn't care. So it's all it's August. My surgery was August 4th, 2020 with her. So since I'm already like in my head, like I'm supposed to get surgery this month, like let me figure something out. Cause I really and I'm not gonna lie to you, I really, really wanted to get surgery in August. So um I didn't have my passport yet. I didn't come in yet. Cause when I was like, I'm not even gonna like go to Duran. I was like, 
I'm not even gonna. At that time, they didn't even have um the fast shipping for passports, so my passport didn't even come in yet. So I'm not okay. It's probably because God didn't want me to go to Dunan. So I was finding a doctor in the United States, and I found one in Miami. And um, honestly, his work, I, and I'm so happy, like I didn't go to him. His work wasn't good, and it wasn't bad. But. I'm just happy I didn't go to him. Um, <clears throat> I sent another deposit, which was five hundred dollars to him, and um, he had worked for like um, I forgot like the name of the clinic, but he had worked for like a clinic where a lot of doctors work at, and um, I don't know if it was called three or five, like I don't remember, but he worked for for um, something like that, and um, literally like a week before my surgery, my surgery was like August 26, twenty twenty, like it was around that time. Um, I had dm'd him like hey um i'm okay like i'm gonna sit, go to you next week i'm so excited and he wrote back to me like um did nobody inform you i'm like informing me about what he was like i do not work for um that clinic no more so whatever patients had surgeries coming up with me they're all canceled and he does his own private um surgeries now not working for that clinic but his prices are higher than what the clinic was offering and i can't even transfer over my deposit to him like the 500 that i paid for the clinic i couldn't transfer it over to him so i head up the clinic i'm like yo like how the fuck you didn't tell me that you that my doctor had quit like he don't work for you guys no more and she's like oh the deposit is non-refundable um the deposit is non-refundable if you want to keep your deposit you could pick another doctor that we have and i'm like no i do not like any of your other doctors like that's my fucked up how you guys didn't even tell me so boom another five hundred dollars i lost so i lost a thousand dollars i lost a thousand dollars so whatever i'm like all right maybe it's not time for me to get surgery right now so i stopped trying so um, here comes november 2020 in November 2020, I was looking at, but I was looking at her for like a month before. Natalie Bello on DR, right? Natalie's work on Instagram, like, bro, I was in love. I'm like, she is my doctor. Like, I need to go to her. Like, she's the one. So, I hit up her assistant and I got my quote from her and I sent my pictures in and they told me to lose 10 pounds before I go which was fine so um I think I weighed like maybe like 180 like 170 around there um and I'm like 5'3 so um they told me to lose 10 pounds okay no problem my my I paid my deposit like November 1st it was um 500 and then it was 500 and then my date was for november like 27 28 around there so um you know she told me to stop smoking hookah like stop drinking i did i was taking my pills everything so um, here comes the day I leave to DR. I go to DR and I'm in her recovery house. I'm in um, Natalie's Bitches recovery house, which was Dave's recovery house. Like, that recovery house is mostly Natalie's girls. So, I go to the recovery house. My, um, it was a Sunday. Um, the next Monday, I had my appointment, like, to do my lab works and all that. So, I was 100% sure I was going to Natalie, right? So, um, the girls, the girls in the recovery house, there was probably like 15 new girls. They was like, hey, like what doctor are you going to? And I'm like, Natalie, they was like, no, don't go to her. I'm like, what do you mean? That's my doctor. I have my appointment with her tomorrow. Like that is my doctor. Like she's fine, I'm going to her. And they was like, they took me to see the other girls that had gotten their body done by Natalie. And honestly, I didn't like none of the girls' bodies. Like, it's like Natalie, like, on, this is my opinion. It's like Natalie on Instagram and her bodies in person, they look completely different. Like, so different. So, um, like, I had spoke to one of the girls and she was like, she showed me a picture of her before. 
And she didn't have it that big of a stomach. And Natalie told her, like, I, I will only do you if you get a tummy tug. And the girl was like, hell no, I'm not doing a tummy tug. So she, the girl ended up finding another doctor. And I was concerned because I'm like, girl, like, my stomach looked like the same as yours. And I don't want Natalie to tell me I need a tummy tug. So, boom. I go to Natalie and she tells me I need a tummy tug. I'm like, no, I do not need a tummy tuck. Like, I know my skin. I do not need a tummy tuck. I'm 21 years old. Um, I have no kids and don't plan on having kids anytime soon. So there's no way I'm going to fuck up my stomach by getting a tummy tuck. Um, she said I needed the mini tummy tuck. And I was now with cutting my stomach. I said, absolutely no. So I left. She didn't want to do my body, so I left. And boom, I lost $1,500. Like, literally. $1,500 just thrown in the garbage. Um, so I literally had hours to find another doctor. So I'm so stressed out in the recovery house. Like, who the fuck am I gonna go to? I really love Cabral's work, but I don't know. Like, at the time, I didn't want to go to Cabral. So, um, after talking to the girls, I heard about a doctor named Maginado. So I was looking on his Instagram and I really, well, really, I like, what I really liked about him was the way he did lipo because there was girls that you could see that have these huge stomachs that look like they need a tummy tuck and he fixed them up perfectly by just giving them lipo. So I'm like, yo, he's good. And this is, I'm being honest with you guys. I had, I did not know nothing about my Donato. So I just liked the work. That's, that's it. I did not know nothing about him. So I hit up to the secret. Hi, I'm in DR. I need, I need my surgery this week. Like, can we set up a date for tomorrow so I can get my lab work done? She was like, yeah, come in. So I went in. And, um... Okay, that's gonna be for the next. That's gonna be for the other video. But I just wanted to show you, to fix you guys, like the doctors that I went through to finally find the doctor I went to. So yes, my doctor was Maldonado, and um, I will explain everything in the next video. So please pay attention because it's gonna be interesting.